When I started scuba diving, I started to notice that people had these convenient clips on their accessories to stow items away against their body when they weren't in use. As I started to gain more experience, I realized that I needed to add bolt snaps as well, whether it was to my compass or flashlight or another piece of kit so I could clip it off and stay more streamlined and not have danglies that made me look like a Christmas tree diver. The problem was that Honestly, there's no course on gear setup or anything like that that I'm aware of, and unfortunately, I really wasn't sure how to even attach a bolt snap to an accessory in a secure way that I could trust. But don't worry, that's where I come in. In this video, you'll learn how to easily attach a bolt snap to any of your accessories, and I'll give you the information that I couldn't find when I started diving. Let's get into it. I'm Thomas Hughes, a professional scuba instructor, and in order to get started today, you're gonna to need just a few pieces of equipment. First, you're gonna need what's called an eye bolt snap. This is one that has a small eyelet at the bottom, and then the bolt snap clip for the gate at the top. This will allow us to tie this end to our accessory and then have the clip here so we can clip it off to our shoulder D-rings or other D-rings on our BCD, for example. While just about any type of eye bolt snap will do, make sure you get one that's stainless steel and nautical grade because you don't want it to rust and corrode after being exposed to water and more importantly, salt water in the ocean. Next, you're gonna need some line. And I actually took this from my finger spool where I have some extra line on it for launching a DSMB, for example. It doesn't matter too much about the line as long as it's not too thick so you can still work with it. And I happen to use this high-vis orange color, but there's plenty of other colors available as well. And for all of these items, I'll have links in the description down below. So if you need to pick up some for yourself, you can find them on Amazon or your local dive shop should have all of this stuff as well. For the line, we don't need a very long piece. Uh, this happens to be a piece that I cut off for a different piece of equipment. And it happens to be maybe four to five feet long, which is way more than I need. So keep in mind, after we do this tutorial, you might have some excess and you can save that and reuse it to do your next accessory as well. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a lighter of some sort so we can cut our line and then burn the end so it doesn't unfrail or come apart on us later. And finally, you'll of course need the accessory that you want to tie your bolt snap to, whether that's a compass or some slates or something like that. In this case, I'm going to be using my Sea Life 1300S dive torch. This is a great torch that I use as my daily driver for recreational dives and just to have a nice backup light sometimes for night diving as well. If you're interested in this light or anything else that I've talked about so far, again, I'll have them in the links down below. But again, this is gonna be for attaching the bolt snap too, whether it's to have a flashlight so you have it against your BCD, a compass, or some other type of thing that you wanna make sure you can clip off when you don't need it. Once you've gathered those items, find yourself a flat surface and we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach our bolt snap to our flashlight. I have my eye bolt snap here. I have the flashlight that I'll be using and we're gonna be using this little opening here that's for a wrist lanyard. I got a pair of scissors, I got my line, and I've got a lighter as well. So let's see how we can do this here. So first of all, let me make myself just a little bit of room. You're gonna wanna use the scissors to cut yourself some line. Like I said, mine's a little bit long. This is probably gonna be way more than I need, but uh, we can go ahead and make adjustments if we need to. This is quite a bit. This is probably four to five feet of line, and you probably only need maybe two feet at most. And even that's probably a little bit excess. But what you wanna do, I'm gonna take the ends of my line, make them even, and give myself a nice long piece here where yeah, I can grab kind of the very uh, middle of that line. And because I've grabbed the two ends, and those are lined up, I'm in the very middle of this, this loop here. I'm gonna take that loop and I'm gonna go ahead and pass it through the opening of my eyelet. And then I'll take my tails on the other end here and I'll pass those through the loop. So when I pull that, that's gonna give me a nice, tight and secure way to hold the line. But as you can see, it kind of loosens up as I let go. And honestly, that only attaches the line to the uh, the bolt snap itself here, but that doesn't attach it to our flashlight, of course. So we have some more work to do. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take our lines. We're gonna feed it through that hole here, pull it through. And you can see I have the line coming through and I'm just pulling through enough that I don't lose it. I'm gonna take the other end, do the same thing, pass it through. That one went right through, grab it pull it through and we're actually gonna pull both lines now snugly through all the way down to where the bolt snap is. We have that nice tight piece here. And you can see already 
that if we just tied it off here, we would have the bolt snap right against the flashlight with a nice tight secure connection. But we wanna go ahead and loop this around a few times to make this even tighter so it doesn't loosen up on us at all. And we're gonna tie off a knot for it too. The great thing about using line like this and this type of connection is that they are quick release. So you can use a line cutter and cut right through this, this really thin line. So if you got snagged and, and were caught on something and maybe your flashlight was actually, you know, keeping you trapped underwater because you were caught on something, you can cut yourself free with your line cutter and you'll be able to, you know, quickly detach the item. Just leave your flashlight. It's not worth your life, that type of thing. What we'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down, give myself a little bit of room here with my other items. Try to get this on camera as best as I can. All right, so off camera there real quick, I did switch this to where the line was coming from the inside out instead of outside in. It shouldn't matter too much for you, but for the camera purposes, I wanted to have things changed up a little bit for alignment to make this a little bit easier to show you. Same thing as before, still looped on, still untied, pass the ends through the hole, pull it snug, and we're gonna get ready to tie this. So I'm gonna take my tail end here, and I'm actually gonna take both ends and pass it through the eye of the bolt snap again. And this is gonna keep things a lot tighter for me against the flashlight itself. So if I pull both ends through, you can see I'm pulling them through, pulling them through, all the way down and getting a nice snug excess pull on that line. So it's just kind of keeping things a little bit tighter for me. So again, they pulled through. Now it's keeping that flashlight and the bolt snap very tight against each other. And this is where I'm actually gonna split the lines and bring one to each side. Apologies for the banging here. Hopefully it's not too bad. But while keeping things as tight as you can, you're gonna take one to each side. So we went through the eyelet and then pulled out the back end. And now I'm gonna come and try to pass through the eyelet of the flashlight one more time, just so I have an extra loop through there. So I'm taking my right side, passing it through that eyelet. Again, this is gonna be a little bit tricky to do, especially on camera. This is why I went from the outside in the first time. There we go. Okay, so right side, outside in. Left side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Pass that from the inside out. This is just to give us an extra secure point in the flashlight. And I'm gonna pull these snug as well. So if I pull everything snug, we've got two loops going through the flashlight now, holding that attachment point. So we kind of went through on each side of the, of the bolt snap and brought it around. And now we're gonna go ahead and bring it around again. So now from this front piece, we'll bring it around the back side. And I like to just kind of cross these lines behind. So bring one back to the right, the right side to the left side. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie just a regular square knot or overhand knot. So cross these, pull it through, tie it down. You can see that we got a nice snug connection and I can actually hold the bolt snap now. We can see that nice tight connection there with that single knot. I'm gonna turn this whole thing over, bring my lines over properly and I'm gonna tie another overhand knot. So again, doing an overhand, pulling down snugly. And that's gonna be nice and tight, make it as tight as you possibly can. And then basically from here, you're good to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one last overhand because I like to be extra secure, but there's an argument to be made that the more overhand knots that you do, the uh, more difficult it would be to break free this line if you needed to cut it in an emergency. But in my opinion, I, I'd like to be a little extra safe. So I'm gonna do one overhand and follow it up with one more overhand. And just like that, I have a nice secure knot, bright orange, quick cutaway, and that's not coming off at all. So now I can take my bolt snap, clip this on to a D-ring anywhere on my, my BC and unclip it, use my flashlight as needed, clip it back off and I'm good to go. So the only thing left to do is to tidy up these ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you now as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clip these ends pretty close to the knot. So using my scissors, I'm gonna go ahead and clip down fairly close and save this excess. It will come in handy and we'll take care of that in just a second here. Also take this other end, clip that one down fairly close. Good to go. Again, saving the excess line here. I'll be using that for other accessories in the future. Now take your lighter and you're gonna wanna be very careful. We're gonna burn these ends 
and let them get down close to the knot. And then using like the bottom of your lighter, you can see I've got some burn marks there, the side of the lighter. You can use your finger if you wanna dip it in water and tap on the, the rope afterwards, but we're going to stop the burning basically by blowing it out. And while this is hot and melted, we'll push it in and smash it in. And again, you can use your finger if you want, but be careful, it will burn you. So possibly uh, use some water with your finger first, um, but we're gonna mash that in and that's gonna basically melt this knot together to where it's not gonna come undone. We have to be careful not to burn through the ropes completely, of course, so just kind of watch. That's probably gonna be the best demonstration. So using my lighter, be very careful if you're under 18, ask an adult for help. Just kind of melt this end down a little bit and, and blow it out and mash it down and just smush it right in. You can see we've smushed in that knot to where that line is not coming undone now. It cools down very quickly as well, so you can go ahead and touch it right away. Now that line's tight, not gonna come undone. We don't have to worry about that knot. Do it to the other side and we'll be all done. So again, lighting it, it's kind of getting close with the flame. It'll eventually light, let it burn down, blow it out and smash that nice melted plastic right at the end. And there we go. So set the lighter down, make sure you're all safe and secure. We've got a nice tight bundle of line connecting our bolt snap to our flashlight and we don't have to worry about this anymore. And now this eye bolt can swivel and move around. Again, I can cut this line very quickly and easily with a line cutter if need be to free myself from an entrapment. And when I'm not using my flashlight, I can just clip it off to any D ring. And that way I know that I always have my gear with me and I'm not dropping anything. I do this for my flashlights. I do it for my compass. I do it for my spare whistle. I put that in my pocket and clipped off and it just allows me to have a nice secure way to clip things off that I'm not going to lose anything. And there you have it. Now you know how to attach a bolt snap to any piece of equipment that you need and it'll only take you about 60 seconds or so once you get the hang of it. Being able to stay organized like this and not worrying about losing your gear will make you a better diver and more streamlined diver as you don't have things hanging and dangling off all over the place. But what if I need to rig a lift bag so I can raise an object that is a little bit too heavy for me to pick up on my own or maybe I need to work with line in some other way as a navigation tool or for search and recovery. Well, in this video, I cover four knots that every scuba diver should know. Click or tap the screen now to watch that. With that, stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving.